slaughtering people who were like trying to give up and there's been like multiple allusions to the fact you burnt people alive. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Bible man! And as well, the fact they're treating you like such a fucking moron of like... <laughs> you don't know what it was like. I know that I committed the crime that I'm everyone here was punished for, but I'm you know it was all right when I did it. I had an excuse. Like the absolute hypocrisy of the. Like, you're supposed to want to play as this character. It's like you committed one of the most basic sins. You don't know what it was like. So your girl left you for Lucifer. Here's a good line. Punish everything, got it. <laughs> God, this design is so bad. It's that, it, this is like the ultimate example of less is more. Like, her design is fine. And the idea of like, she's supposed to be like the literal personification of lust. If that's the case, she shouldn't be naked. Because lust is like, you know, it's that idea of like thinking about what, right? you know, that's the idea of like what's in your head. She should be like scantily dressed, sure, but not naked. Because her being scantily dressed is that thing of like, you're the one who's being, um, uh, you're the one using your imagination to imagine her naked. That's, you would thereby be committing the sin that she represents. When she's just naked, and what's the message being imparted there? Let's just punish this. Let's just do some fucking like scythe combos on this guy's asshole. Let's go. Holy Avenger! The Storms of Lust! I'm not sure what it is she's doing, but whatever. Oh, she's just powering him up. Got it. So let's just attack her then. No, you won't. You'll do right, your lady, eh? Mm. Oh, the unblockable. Let's go. Continue the assault. Just, like, continue my, like, fucking Jesus Revenger combos. Not today. Activate Jesus mode. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck yeah! Jesus Revenger! Anthony's standard! What's this one do? The rate of which Dante stores redemption energy. Fuck yeah, I'll have that. I don't believe this is Cleopatra, is it? I thought it was like, it says like she's Queen Alyssa maybe. Unless it is Anthony and Cleopatra. Well, you will. After I kill you. Anthony. Oh, yeah, I've got Anthony and Cleopatra. Doi. And all the snake theming, of course. We had a deal. Look at his big, like, scarab cod piece. That's, like, a look. Be like my, um, uh, point of, like, the character shouldn't be naked. And she should be scantily dressed so that you, like, you know what, in a sense, like, commit the sin of fucking lust. And, and speaking of which, like, you know, Wrath should have, you know, he should have these exact same button prompts, but he should have, like, 50 of them so you get fucking pissed at the screen. No! No! Be gone! Thought! You cannot stop me! I've got the power of God and oh, for fuck's sake. My control was vibrating as this is happening. <sighs> it's symbolic. Lust storm.
I just surround myself. I'm li I've literally got the surround myself with sex energy move. Let's do it. You already get punished. Yeah, sex energy. Let's do this. It's time. Sexual punishment. Oh, we just, we just bayonetta now. We're glowing purple and punishing people in a sexual manner. Also, I've not done a single counter yet because it's like it's the timing window is apparently so fucking fast. Ting! There we go. Punish. Punish. Oh, I missed. I was I was mashing punish. Punish. Yes, that's the exact joke I made, but worse. Oh, dodge! Who's next? Yeah, she's dead. Why would you think a female character in this game would get any sort of, like, decent send-off or, like, writing around them? Like, it's a woman character in the game where, you know, it's about you, the man. Even though a woman's the entire impetus for the plot. Like, women are allowed to be story devices, they're not allowed to be characters. This is the first thing you learn when you like, you know, dude bro writing 101. Whee! So, okay, I've figured out the combo. Whoa! Whoa! I'm dead. That killed me. Even though the stone shadow wasn't there, I'm dead. Bible Ray! One, two, three. Oh, send out the fucking the Jesus rays. Let's go. Punishment! Uh, I think you only get the scythe the entire game, you get more magic and so it's like again, like it's so it's just they got their prompt for making this game is just make God of War. Like, the scythe is their version of, like, the Blades of Chaos, and you get magic. You even have, like, the four magics that you get. That's because the game's loading a lot faster, because we are playing it on, like, um, uh, the Xbox One. So it's like the also, I've got a lot of points there. What are they for? Are they still get my magic or something? I've got all those 8,000 points. Where's like my... Uh, um... I can't see like... Can anyone see where my fucking points are? On screen. I guess I'm just going to get all these combos now. No, they were there up top, so I, they don't have them on the screen with all the upgrades. That's amazing. So let's just check what moves I just unlocked. So yeah, it's just that that bar below my health is the amount of like skills that I have. But when you go to the menu to unlock stuff, it doesn't tell you how many points you have. Oh no, it does there. Fuck's sake, they're in the middle, fuck's sake. How'd I miss that bastard? Why, why, why? Oh, there we go. Stinger. Stinger! Like, fucking hell, that's that's a bad... That's like a Devil May Cry 2 stinger. That is awful. That's an awful... Fu it's so slow. Punish! Oh, no, so, like, Generous Bacon wants us to absolve from now on. Okay, got it. Bible raise. Oh, 
It's just, it's so slow. So let's dash up here. The rock's there. So I died last time because the rocks just came and just killed me. So I'm going to stand on this side because I'm presuming the rocks are in the same place. Yeah, we're still on the left and it killed me, look. How was I supposed to know when it falls to the left that it also destroy the one on the right? Whoa! I f fucking hate. Hate with a passion quick time events now. I forgot how much this era of video games. How much they relied on this shitty fucking mechanic. Everyone wanted to be God of War. And God of War sucked. Reason we like, God of War sucked ass. I don't care what anyone says. That game was awful. Look, like, go back and play them. Every fight is just quick time events. The only thing I had going for it was the spectacle. The spectacle of the fights. I don't care. I don't care. So at least we're now past the titty level. And you're all about to see like the worst jump animation ever. Watch how slow this shit goes. It's like, ugh. Ugh. No, it's on fire. Come on. It's fine, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I So go fast, go fast, go fast. Slash. Jump. Done. Yeah, the wall of burning anuses. I don't care. Just land, get my health back. Also as well. God damn. Like, look, every single thing in the game requires mashing. Literally every single thing. <laughs> Gluttony, okay. Broken by the rain and the mud. There we go. Keep an eye out for Lucas. Um, I guess the Lucas is going live since. What's we all doing? We'll be raiding Lucas and like everyone in chat be sure to tell him how bad this game is. Because Lucas is the one who kept challenging me to play it. And now that I have, I'm not happy. I forgot. <gasps> At least this is a cool enemy type. It's a bit on the nose, like gluttony some mouths. It's, but I do like it as an interpretation of Cerberus. It's a cool idea of what I, like a reimagining of what Cerberus could be. It's not the dog, it's just you know, the three heads motif is kept. There we go. Oh, fuck's I'm just trying to, like, just send up my Bible rays. For fuck's sake. Yeah! So we're in, like, I think absolution mode now. Let's do this. Jesus! Ooh, perfect. Go, 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 go. Eh. Grapple, stab, stab. Stab. I'm stabbing it with a cross lock. Whee! And that's the only time. That's the only time in the game you should have quick time events, I feel. The only time you should ever have quick time events is for those bits. Everything else, you should have. You press one button, mashing is where it gets ruined. Biblical! Oh, my combos now get ranked! Yeah, biblical combos! It's taking the game that long. Fuck yeah! We finally earned the right. I did not realise that, like, they start. When did they start ranking our combos? That's awesome. They should have, like, the Devil May Cry voice of, like, Biblical. Got him. Ugh. And you can see, like, imagine how difficult this would be. If we just had, um, uh... 
if it was on like normal mode and these things doing like max damage to me. Like you can't even believe how fucking annoying this fight is. I remember this one like took like 15 fucking attempts. Get him. Now. Oh! We're doing it. This sort of doesn't make sense to me. Well, the reason you struggle fighting it is because you just... Oh, for fuck's sake. Is because you just don't have any real idea of what you're supposed to do. Like, there's no, like, camera movements towards the thing. It's like, oh, you press these, but, like... As well, the enemies are just giant hitboxes and you can't block and you can't dodge. It's like when you play, like, um, uh, Force Unleashed, like another bad character action game. What's this one do? Unholy. Any successful block is a chance to stun. Yes. Yeah, I don't want An Anthony's standard. I don't want um, my, my fucking angel trigger. It's fine. Lol. Yeah, like a bit of a literal interpretation of what like gluttony is, but whatever. But yeah, I was speaking like it doesn't really make any thematic sense of Dante will interchangeably use like his scythe and oh god no I get button prompts everywhere to kill things obviously because they don't want it to like be forced to use any one thing but like if you're doing like an entire like holy run or an entire unholy run it means that Dante is using both and that's not the Dante that I'm playing as Yeah, but gluttony doesn't necessarily mean that you just eat things. It means you just have, like, you know, just avarice itself. Like, gluttony doesn't necessarily have to mean you just, like, eat a lot of food. Like, you know, you can be, like, you know, gluttonous for wealth, for power. Um, uh, even, like, you know, and that's why I don't get the idea of individual sins defining personalities in this. Because, like, you can be gluttonous for sex. You can, like, you know, that can be the thing that you're obsessed with. And that's two sins. And how do I decide which sin is the one that you deserve to, like, go to hell for? Or do you go for both? Like, do you know, it's like a just three weeks of the year you go for one, three weeks, like, you know, the other. It's almost like none of this stuff makes sense. Like, why am I not getting biblical combos anymore? I want biblical combos. Absolve! Fuck it. Bible man. Oh, look, the power. What do you do against this much Bible, man? How do you defeat this much Bible? Nice no, girl. But also, I guess we get to absolve somebody now. Been a while. Who are you? Really? Anonymous citizen spent his life gorging his appetites and now spends eternity in the muddy depths in the third circle of hell. What did this guy do? And they even said like, people love me because I shared all the shit that I had. Oh, I love my kind of shit. Fuck, you, you get to go heaven. I had a shit ton of stuff that I gave away. Oh, yeah. Look at these sins. Going oh, a Dante's Inferno stream. It is a Dante's Inferno stream. Inspired by, just like, my uh, frequent co-contributor and good friend Lucas, who told me, I bet you don't have the balls to do a stream like this, because I know how much you absolutely love character action. It's like, I do love character action, which is why I don't want to play this, but... Sure. Ah, oh, no, I messed it up! My guitar hero skill's failing me. Undying the undying. This is not... Like that guy's apparent sin is just he ate a lot of food. That's me. I, that means every Saturday I'm committing a cardinal fucking sin that get me sent to hell. The fuck? Let's see how it's power. Let's power up my Bible abilities, man. Holy devastation! Oh my god. Divine tempest. Launch all enemies into the air with divine might. Fuck yeah. T pose like a boss. Secret judgment. And then finally, do we have anything that's just a thousand souls? No, but we can do it. Are we ready? 
Oh my god, yeah. Oh, the power of fucking Christ compels you. Above the Lost Storm. There's no chance for the Lost Storm. We can't go to the Lost Stocks. All we can do is just the Edge Storm. Like, oh. Yeah, that's right. Accept divine judgment, bitches. I want in. No, no! Oh, instant death, you fall in. So he's just like, and I guess this is a good opportunity to talk about, you know, poor design decisions of... If falling into these things is instant death, do you know how you, like, you represent that really easily? Just give you like a little in-game cutscene of someone falling into one and dying. Just have that. Just have a character falling in. So, we get to absolve somebody else. What do you do? I have shamed my noble Notorious gambler, seducer, and drunkard of Rome. Left a repulsive... Like, she just sounds like she's having a good time. She's having a hot girl summer. Fuck you, absolved. I feel like I'm going to absolve a lot of people down here. Like, what was her crack? Well, she drank a lot. She had a lot of sex. And she gambled. So she had a good... She enjoyed life. Some would call that. Or I would argue that. That is living your life to the fullest. Which is one of the best ways to show appreciation for God. Like, you are enjoying all that he has created. Like, why would he create it if he wouldn't want to enjoy it, eh? Like, does God not want us to enjoy what he has created? Bam. Yeah, also as well, yeah, it does sound like she should be in Lost. And that's the thing, like, how do they decide what it is you did that... How do they decide, like, which one you should go to? And this is where, like, the really bad jumping mechanic is going to bite me in the ass. Uh, yes, I am worried about getting censored, but I guess we'll find out, eh? Right, we'll see. So I'm curious about... Like, I've not been bit kicked off Twitch yet, but YouTube's probably going to be a problem. So if you are watching this on YouTube, I probably haven't monetized it, and that's how I got around it. So I apologize that. Actually, why would I apologize? There's no ads. You're getting a better experience for it. I'm the one who's not getting any money for it. The Cleopatra fight. We're past that now. And it's just... It's funny more than anything. It's like I still stand by... It would have been a way more interesting design decision to not have her all naked and stuff. And it shows how juvenile the people who made the game are. And like how literal their interpretations of the, sev like the deadly sins are. But as I was talking about earlier, there's so many different ways you can like interpret the, like the deadly sins. And you can do it in such interesting ways as well, like with gluttony. Like you can like... Fuck you! Yeah, I'm going to taunt you with forgiveness. Try, like, you know, fitting in in heaven with, like, the face that looks like that. Bring it in. Bring it in, lads. Bring it in. Whoa. Yeah, just send out the Jesus waves. Woo! Jesus, Hamehameha! Oh, no, it's not. It's not, not Kamehameha. Jehovah, Hova, Hova, Ha! <laughs> oh. Oh. Just send out the waves. Yeah, I. Like, oh, it's just. It annoys me so much because there's like a good game, not a good game, there is an entertaining game bubbling under the surface of this. Like, this game reminds me in a sense of uh, Brutal Legend, which has an amazing, like, what I mean by that is, not like the metal aspect, I mean an amazing concept, badly executed. Because Brutal Legend was like an, oh yeah, eat him, yum 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 yum. And Brutal Legend was pitched as a... Uh, a game where it's like, oh, a bunch of like heavy metal stars in this game is about, you know, going around and with a guitar and like kicking ass. It's like, oh, it's going to pitch as like a character action game where you kick the fuck out of people using like heavy metal powers and it ends up being a really bad RTS. 
Like, same thing here, like, this really neat idea of, like, going through... Oh, fuck. Bible man, come on. There we go. Like, protect our innocence. Like, God of War, but in this pantheon instead. That could be a neat idea if executed well. Or at least not execute in a way that's fucking just completely and utterly <laughs> just offensive to people's morals. Of like, ugh. Yeah, they all do. That's the thing. Everyone thinks their cause is holy and they're all down here dancing. How do you not get it? And this is another thing about when you're writing a story. If your character is a fucking moron, Of like, they have given you like the big hint like six times in a row. That like, yes, but my cause was so just and holy. Everyone thinks that, and yet everyone is in hell. Are you not getting it yet, Dante? But like, my cause is holy and just. Why is she wearing makeup? Fuck him up, guy. He's a, that's true, he's a crusader, so he will be a moron. But it's that thing of, like, um, like not to compare the two, but it's a, an example that happened with the game Batman. I think Arkham Knight, where, like, the Arkham Knight is, I think fans called it from second one. Yeah, fuck you! Like, fans called it from second one, Arkham Knight is Jason Todd. I think Jason Todd, like, is one of the, like, the whoever it is in the comics, right, Red Hood or whatever. And they actually changed the game to move that twist to the very start of the game. She's done nothing wrong, yeah. Well, she's a woman in a game written by Dude Bros. Oh, for fuck's sake, Bible Man. Oh, it is. But yeah, like, they changed it so the twist came right at the start of the game. Because they thought, well, it's going to be really bad if you're playing as the world's greatest detective and you can't figure out a twist so obvious that people got it from the trailer. And in even that scene there could have worked. Oh, God. If they did that thing of... Do you know in the Simpsons movie where they hide Bart's penis the entire time? If they, like, tastefully hid it behind stuff and just suggested nudity... If you want to make something arty, that's how you do it. You always, like, suggest nudity. What more can you take from me? Is that a dare? Yeah, that's the thing. It's still framed as being surprising with the twist, but I think they moved it to be... It was going to be the end of the game. But when they were writing it, like, we thought they had to move it. I wasn't sure if it was the beginning or the middle. But, yeah, they... Because they thought it looked really bad if Batman, the world's greatest detective, doesn't get this. So we're still on Absolve. Let's go. We still got our fucking like just Jesus powers. Oh my god, the Jesus. Uh. You got some Jesus. Like y'all motherfuckers need Jesus, let's go. Uh. Where am I? Oh. Cool. This is kind of fun. Yes, it is. My character is 100% the villain of this story. I have no arguments against that. Well, what do this actually do? Oh, doy. And where did I come out? Oh, I'm here. Excellent. Set this one. Whee! This is fun. I, I don't mind this as a puzzle. It's actually kind of neat. And again, this is like a really neat idea. A really neat idea of like, you know, hell. Just being this like insurmountable labyrinth. Like, you, like, you know, you don't know how to traverse it. But it, yeah, that's, I was literally just about to say, it's odd, though, that this is considered gluttony. 
Like, this feels like it should have been in, like, you know, Pride or something like that. Like, oh, it was, like, you know, a puzzle constructed to uh, test the greatest minds. You, like, you know, the people who committed the, the sin of Pride in their own intelligence. What are you going to give me for Judas? Five coins. Look at that. What a legend, Judas. And that's the... It seems really weird as well that my guy is, like, a Christian crusader. And he gets points for collecting things that Judas had. I feel like this would be like, way better suited for um, uh, pride. And they could frame it as, like, you know, it's to test the pride of the mind. The pride of, in, like, you know, intelligence. And all the JPEGs that you see dead wife in the background. So who fucking wrote this shit? Ooh. What's this gonna spin? Whoa! Ooh, okay, so I just need to be fast. Got it. So I do this and then run fast. Just like, you know, Sonic it. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, no, I should run through the thing, of course. Doi. Huh? I, I do hate this stuff. Like, I didn't lay a finger on you. It's all your fault. It's like, you killed her. Stop trying to like, take the moral fucking high ground. Like, someone's fucking dead and it's all of our faults. Done. Let's go. Wherever it is we're going, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, it's killed me. Damn it! <laughs> Consume myself with thine own rage. That was clearly not what I was supposed to do. Do, 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 do. Screaming, but oh, fuck's sake, I've got to do these puzzles again, for fuck's sake. Right, let's go. Now, the Smoke Man is Lucifer. Final boss is Lucifer. The original sinner. So just don't jump on that thing again. So I want to get... Give me my Judas shit. Judas, thank you. Whoa. Just hop in, look at him go. If anyone's wondering how this, like, you know, controls, the answer is very poorly. This controls fucking awfully. Let's dash through. Dash through. Move it back, maybe? Yes. Violence begets violence. Oh. I'm really confused about what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, we're about to punish now. Violence begets violence. Pull that. Oh, of course. Oh, that's, that's such a neat idea. Got it. I never even thought to do that. Okay. Okay, this is kind of fun. Now I've like, got this shit on the go. I'm kind of liking this. I'm really like, if there was more of this in the game, because they're clearly trying to do something. What, what's this one turn again? Let's have a look. This turns. Okay, so I want to go. I don't want to go down there. I want to go down this one. Because that will allow me to go land on that. I'll open this box. Oh, so if I drop down, I can land on that platform. Sweet, so if we wait for this platform... To go underneath there, I can drop down, land on that platform, that'll take me through that gate. Got it. So, come on. It's gonna go float under there in a sec, it's gonna go float under there. Yes! This is a fun puzzle! Now you can make an entire game out of this. 
Now, you could realistically make an entire game out of that idea. And that's what I mean about the thing of wasted potential. There's like the so many kernels of good ideas in here and it's just ruined by all the dude bro shit. Just the edge. The edgy McEdginess. And I believe Lucas has just gone live now as well, so we'll be uh, saying goodbye to the seven circles of hell for now. We went through Lust, and we're halfway through Sloth. We're going to get this fucking bag of shit. Gimme. We're going to go finally upgrade, like, you know, it's one final upgrade to our Bible powers. Oh my god. Instantly blind surrounding enemies for a short time. I think oh, we, we might need... To, we're actually now in punish mode at the moment, aren't we? So, I'll upgrade my punishment. Initiate a deadly focus attack for massive damage. Soul Crusher! I think it's got to be Soul Crusher. We'll go for Soul Crusher. Like Retribution sounds like I'm gonna... There's probably going to be a lot of annoying projectile things later in the game, I imagine. But I'll have to counter with that. What does my Soul Crusher do? Oh my... That's... That's rad. Pew! Just like the bad touch. Uh, let's go. It's been a fun... You are. I'm having fun playing this. Shitting on it with you, the audience at home. I would not want to play this on my own again because I remember it gets real rough. Like some of the platforming later in the game is like really bad and really tight as well. And you get punished horribly for messing stuff up. So uh, what we're going to do now is... I think Lucy's trying to call me. Yes, he is. Let's join his call. Are you there, Monfrey? Oh, we might be coming through um, uh, the wrong speaker. Give me a sec. You there, Monfrey? Position over YouTube because TikTok's a new audience. Oh, Lucy's is talking about TikTok. You all right? I am. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, not too. I've been playing Dante's Inferno, and May it is worse than you remember. Literally, the first <laughs> first ten seconds, tits on screen. It's got Patrick Stewart in it though, right? Is Patrick Stewart in this game? Is he not the narrator for Dark Knight Inferno? No! We're gonna look that up right now. I want I IMDB this game, cause. I, th I thought that was like one of the big selling points. It's like, yeah, Patrick fucking Stewart's in this game. I always think, like, surely it's just like nobody and who gives a fuck working in tandem. There's the animated version of it. Where's like the actual video game? Let's have a look. I swear the video game had Patrick Stewart in it. Uh. No. Graham McTavish. Richard Mall. No, I swear the narrator for Dark Knight's Inferno was somebody. Uh, no. They he might have been in the animated version. Let me have a look at the animated version. No, the animated version is still Graham McTavish, Beatrice. Mark Hamill's in the. Uh... Let me just go back. Maybe it's like buried. He's okay, he's in the anime. But yeah, like, mate, second one just tits on screen. And the first circle of hell you go to is lust. And it's just lady with tits and spiders crawl out of them. And what, what you got to say about that, mate? I, I don't know. And what you got to Can say about that? Can anyone in chat tell me? Because we're going to raid you in a sec. Like, it is so hilariously edgy and I've like been struggling to like define what edge is it's so difficult and I think it's just this game right yeah just, it's trying too hard to either offend or upset and this game just has that in spades of it's just constantly trying to push like ooh ooh is this make you ooh is this make you uncomfortable does this make you upset look at yeah. like, there's, there's a section like where you're in it and it's like oh you're killing babies and it's like ooh do you feel bad you're killing babies you're killing babies it's like no. I think it might have been Castlevania Lord of Shadow that he was narrator on because he's in that cast. Someone's saying that he's in the anime. I remember one of those like edgy character action games at that time. And I know like... He's in Oblivion. Castlevania, but specifically more the narrator role. Yeah, it's just, it's so bad because uh, like, um, I was saying it earlier, I wonder what your opinion on this is. Is uh, I believe, you... Sh sorry, sh one sec, I believe bits don't wholly go to me. The only time it wholly goes to a person is when it's like a direct donation. I donate link. Yeah. Which is why I've got that buy me a coffee which goes to me. But yeah. It's... But everything Twitch, on Twitch they always take a cut even if it's like a donation. But bits are still a good idea because you know it stays in the ecosystem and it's like you know mm -hmm. if you can trust anyone you can trust Amazon like yeah they're an evil company but you're going to trust their security more than you are a random website. If, if Amazon gets <laughs> yeah, exactly. hacked 
they're going to pay money to get that shit sorted out in 10 seconds. Like, every time I'm like, oh, there's a problem with my order, like, refund, okay, cool, yeah. bye. But I was going to, like, you know, just pick your brains about this one thing before I close off of. Okay, uh, yeah. The character who you fight against Lust is a naked lady, because, you know, edgy. Of course. Um, but I was, like, making the argument of, it would actually be better if she wasn't naked, if she was just scantily dressed, and you, like, you know, the camera is maybe, like, you know, framed in a way where it's like you no know, leering at her so in a, a sense camera. <laughs> so you the viewer are committing the sin of lust by you're the one who's like um looking at her in a way where she's just dressed like you know scantily yeah like i don't i don't think a good way of doing lust is just oh here's a naked woman yeah because that seems like the opposite of lust because lust is like if she's just naked it's like well of course i'm gonna look at her she's naked Lust to me is... It's that, a, that's almost like... That's the sin of being horny, not yeah. lust. Like, like, lust is like, you know, it's its own distinct thing, isn't it? It's like you look at mm. someone who's like, you know, it's a girl walking down the street, and then you're after, you know, you're thinking about you lusting after her when she's not done anything to earn that. No. That's the and sin general, of lust. Generally speaking as well, like, even if their idea is, like, let's make a sexy video game boss, I would argue that you could make anyone look sexier wearing clothes than naked. Well, that's the thing, and that's why I think it's hilarious. Like all it, their interpretations it's like that are mystery, so mystery, isn't it? All their interpretations are so literal because I've got down to a second level. I think maybe technically it's the third level. I don't know which one. So maybe mm. I missed the first one, but it's um, the level of gluttony and just everything is mouths. Oh, uh, okay. It's yeah. gluttony, it's like, but you can be gluttonous for power. You can be gluttonous for wealth. You can be gluttonous it for all sorts of things. Literally, me well. To be fair, like, it probably does literally mean food because of, like, when it was written because a gluttony of wealth is greed. Yeah, and that's the weird thing. Like, there's a lot of crossover, and that's something else I've pointed out. Of Like, there's a lot of crossover between what people are doing in this. Like, you encounter a lot of people that you can save or punish. And it's like, oh, right. this lady, she gambled, she drank, she committed adultery. It's like, well, why is she in gluttony then? It sounds, sounds like, like she... Fun. That sounds like lust and wrath. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be off. But, uh, yeah, oh cheers God, to everyone yeah. on my side. We're going to raid Lucas now. So, uh, what is it you're playing, mate? Um, I'm playing Destiny 2 at the moment. Playing Destiny fucking 2. And I might hang around for a bit, but I'm going to head to the gym. So, I'll raid you now. Yeah, the of course, Legend yeah. of Kanto. I know that you're um, you're probably not going to understand a lot of Destiny stuff. Anyway. But if anyone wants to go watch Lucas play some Destiny, I'll just, you know, just stick around and support another member of the channel. We've got the raid here. But cheers to everyone who's tuning in. I, I'm not having fun playing the game, but I'm having fun talking about it. Mm -hmm. Of like you know breaking it down and you know using that media like degree that I've gotten. Of course, yeah. To break it down, so if people are, want, want to check in. I'll be you playing. You've got to use again. that degree somewhere. Can't I you? will. Yes, I'll be trying to play this again. Maybe next Wednesday or next Thursday. Uh, but if you follow the Discord before you go over to the raid, um, it'll be announced in there, no doubt. Which is what it.